Let's set up a multi-stream on both TikTok and Kick. And I'm going to share some tips which are going to make this way easier. I'll also share at the end how you can stream to up to six platforms at the same time. But let's get on with the Kick and TikTok live setup. And we'll start quickly with the requirements. So for this to work effectively, I think you need either a mid-range PC or a gaming laptop. That means unfortunately no normal laptops and no Macs. We're going to be using two free pieces of software for this. First one is on screen now, it's OBS, it's linked in the description. And the second one is TikTok Live Studio. This is also linked in the description. If you can't get onto this page, there's also a Google Drive link there as well. Now at this stage, if you have Live Studio open already, please close it down. And that's because OBS is going to need access to your camera. Anyway, let's start with the OBS setup and you can ignore any setup dialogue because we're going to do it ourselves. Let's click on a profile at the top, click on new and give it a name, just something like kick and run the auto configuration wizard. We're going to optimize it for streaming, recording is secondary and 1920 by 1080 and 60 FPS and we'll press next. And then we're going to change the service from Twitch to custom. Next up, we need our URL and stream key, and I've linked this page in the description. So of course, we're gonna start by copying the URL into the box that OBS is asking for, and we're gonna do exactly the same thing for our stream key. So I'll just quickly do that. We definitely want to prefer hardware encoding. I'm gonna untick estimate bitrate, and we're gonna manually set the bitrate here to 6,000. Once we've done that, we press next, and we review the settings. If you followed those steps, it should give you some solid settings, so just apply them. Next up, I'm going to go Scene Collection, New, and I'll just call them Kick Scenes. I need to spell it correct, and we just press OK. And we should now have a completely blank box here and here. Now, part of the magic of OBS is this Start Virtual Camera button here. And this is going to let us use our camera on both OBS and Live Studio. Or if you're using Landscape Mode on Live Studio, you can just show your entire Kick stream on TikTok. Anyway, let's quickly set up a basic scene. I'm going to call this one gameplay. I'm going to right click this one and rename it to gameplay. And now we need to add our sources like our camera and display. So very quickly underneath sources, I just press the plus button. We start with the display capture, rename it if you want, press OK, and then just find the correct display and press OK again. Don't worry about the mirror effect. That's just because I've got OBS on the same screen. Let's add our camera now by pressing the plus button, click on video capture device, I'll rename mine to camera, I'll press OK, and I just need to find my camera from the list. Here I am, I need to change a few settings because it doesn't put us in 1080p by default. So custom resolution, and we'll change the resolution to 1080p, we'll change the FPS to 60 which is the highest possible, and the other settings should be fine. So I'll press OK, and now you can see I've got my full screen camera. Of course I don't actually want it full screen, so I'm just going to drag the corner down, and I'm going to right click, transform and center it vertically, which puts it right in the middle of the screen. I also just want the part with my green screen, so I'm going to click on it, hold alt, drag it, and I've now cropped out the part without the green screen. Now we need to capture our audio and capture our mic. Firstly, I'm just going to mute my camera mic by pressing the mute button there, and then I'm going to press the plus button here. We'll start by adding an audio input capture. I'll just name mine mic. I'll press OK and all I have to do is choose my quadcast from the list. Super important setting here, right click the mic, click on filters, press the plus button and add noise suppression. The default one is usually the best one. Then just press close. I guarantee you that is the single best setting on OBS. It's going to eliminate almost all background noise like a computer fan. Let's now add the desktop audio, audio output capture. I'll name mine headset. I'll press OK and I'll select my headset. There's only one thing on the list. Press OK, job done. If you want to test it, I like to make a quick error sound and as you see, the headset bar went up and down. At this stage, you could just press the start streaming button and you're live on kick. However, we do want some alerts to show follows, subs, etc. For that, I recommend Bottrix, which is linked in the description. Just choose any sign-in method. It doesn't let you sign in with kick, but that's fine because you just go on the profile page and you can see I've already connected my account but Bottrix will guide you through the setup process. You'll typically have to moderate Bottrix on your Kick channel. Once you have Bottrix set up, we have to click onto the alerts page. And what you want to do is copy the widget URL here. And back here on OBS, under sources, press the plus button, click on browser, type in something like Kick Alerts, press OK, and then just paste in the link. The default dimensions should be fine. I'm going to shut down source when not visible and press OK. 
Next up, I'm gonna right click, transform, this time center horizontal to get the alerts in the middle of the screen. And I'm gonna put OBS and Botrix side by side and I'm gonna click on followers to test a follower alert. And as you can see, it says, thanks for the kick.com follow and the name of the follower. This is of course fully customizable through the tabs on this alerts page. OBS is basically fully set up for kick now, but we are gonna come back to this later because it's useful for reading chat on both TikTok and kick. And as I mentioned earlier on, we're now gonna start the OBS virtual camera, which is now gonna help with our live studio setup. If you've reached this far, then I hope you're finding this guide useful. Consider subscribing to the channel. And also I've just launched a new newsletter. Every week, I'm gonna send tips on how to monetize and grow your TikTok live streams. So if you wanna be an early adopter and join my free newsletter, then check out the link that's in the description. So on Live Studio, if you haven't run the basic setup already, run through that. And then it's just a matter of deciding whether you want landscape or portrait streaming on TikTok. Regardless, the OBS virtual cam is gonna help us with both. It's gonna let us either show just our camera in both OBS and Live Studio, or if you're choosing to stream in landscape, we can show our entire kick stream on TikTok. If you don't already have a blank scene, press add scene in the bottom left and just add the blank one. I'll show you a basic landscape and vertical setup, starting with the easiest one, which is landscape. I just press add source on the left. I click on camera, click on add. And now the camera we need to find is our OBS virtual camera. I'm gonna change the camera format to one of the 60 FPS options. The advanced settings are fine, so we press add source. It's a little bit bugged, so I'm now gonna click on it and press this stretch button to make it full screen. And as you can probably see, what you've got here is the exact thing that my kick stream sees. And now TikTok will be able to see it too. So that's the simplest way of doing it. I do recommend adding Tickfinity, which we'll add in a second, but let's look at portrait first. So with portrait, I'm gonna add a few sources. I'm first gonna add my display and then my camera. So I'll press add source, click on display capture, press add and choose the correct display. I'll choose display two and I'll click capture cursor. Now press add source. Of course, we once again need to resize this. So I'm just gonna drag this something like this. Now we're gonna add the camera. So I'll press add source again, click on camera and the camera once again is our OBS virtual camera. So let's choose it from the list, OBS virtual camera, set it to the maximum FPS, which is 60, press add source. Little bit confusing because it's kind of inside itself, but I'm gonna click on it, drag it up. And crucially, I'm now gonna hold the alt button to crop it a little bit. I'm really small right now, so I'll now, unleash alt and drag myself and i'm going to quickly keep holding alt and keep dragging until i've got just the camera something like that and as you can see tiktok live studio right now is sadly bugged and is not holding the aspect ratio so i have to just keep dragging it around until i think the aspect ratio is back to normal something like that i'm also going to click back onto my display drag it to the bottom and then center it like that and as you can see, I've now got a basic vertical setup. Add any more TikTok specific sources that you want. You might want, for example, to add a goal. There's one source I definitely recommend, and that is a Tickfinity link source. And this is for our follow alerts on TikTok. My full Tickfinity guide will be linked in the description. It's also just on the start page of Tickfinity. Either way, head onto the actions and events page, scroll down a little bit and click on the URL of screen one head back into Live Studio and either Landscape or Portrait, whatever you're using, press Add Source, and we're gonna add it as a link source. So click on Link, press Add, paste it into the box. The custom resolution should be fine, and press Add Source. And again, this white outline is where your follow, gift, etc. alerts are gonna show. So just choose where you wanna show it. Last thing we're doing on Live Studio is we're gonna check our audio. So we're gonna press this Audio Settings button here to check all the audio. My mic's muted for some reason, so I'm gonna unmute it to check I've got the correct one selected, and I do. We also wanna enable the noise suppression. I'll just turn it up to max. Once again, that's gonna get rid of any fan noises and press save. And uh, looks like I've got an extra audio source, which I'll just delete, but looks like the cloud wireless is the correct audio. And once you're happy, it's got the correct speakers and the correct microphone, just close the audio settings. So we should now have a nice looking setup on both OBS and Live Studio. You would be definitely ready to go live now. You just press start streaming here and the red start streaming button on Live Studio. But here's a fun little hack to make reading the chats easier. And for this one, we're using the docs feature here on OBS. So I'm gonna click on docs at the top and into custom browser docs. 
You can see I've got quite a few. Yours is probably blank. What you want to do is add your kick chat. So just name it kick chat and then it's kick.com slash your username slash chat room, all one word. And then I do have one which says TikTok chat here, but I'm going to call this one Tickfinity chat because this one's even better and the other one doesn't really work half the time. So I'll name it Tickfinity chat. We click on the Tickfinity, click into the overlay gallery and then just copy the URL of the chat here. We can press test to see what it looks like. If you don't like the way it looks, press customize. But anyway, once the URL is copied, I'm just going to paste it into this box here and I'm going to press apply and you can see the Tickfinity chat is popping up and your kick chat is probably also popping up. What you want to do if something's popped up is just drag it and we're going to place it to the left or to the right of our main scene. If nothing is showing, click on docs. I need to get my kick chat up as well. So there it is. I'm actually going to drag it out and then place it carefully here. You often do have to fiddle around with it a little bit. So keep fiddling around with it until you've got it something like this. If I quickly go on Tickfinity again, spam the test button, you can see the chat is now showing. Again, I'm actually going to have to modify the color of the text. But as you can see, we now have our kick chat and TikTok chat nicely in the same place. If you actually want to log into kick, just change the custom doc here. Just change it to something like kick.com. Click onto the login page and log in and then change it back to this link here. And then you can actually moderate your chat through OBS. Unfortunately, you can't do that from TikTok. But anyway, with that set up, you are now definitely ready to go live on both Kick and TikTok. Now, I mentioned going live on even more platforms earlier on, and I actually stream to six platforms. And for that, I use Streamlabs Ultra, which is paid software. I can use one 6000 bitrate stream to stream to six platforms and one Streamlabs desktop client to stream to six platforms. And to do that, I just purchased Streamlabs Ultra and there's a discount link in the description that gives you $10 off. And all I did with Streamlabs Ultra, I went onto the setup page, onto the stream page, and I linked all my different accounts, including adding my kick stream key and server link. After that with Streamlabs, all you do is click on virtual webcam, start the virtual webcam, and this is the same as the OBS virtual cam. You then go into Live Studio, click on add source, click on camera, press add, and instead of adding the OBS virtual camera, we now add the Streamlabs desktop virtual camera. Once again, set it to 60 FPS, add source. It's ridiculously small. We click on it, expand it, and I've accidentally set Streamlabs to the wrong screen. But as you can see, it's now showing me everything on Streamlabs on my live studio. If you are lucky enough like me to actually have access to a stream key, then Streamlabs Ultra, one client is all you need to stream to six platforms. Regardless, there's a discount link for Streamlabs Ultra in the description that also supports the channel. So if you are using it, thanks for using the discount. As I mentioned earlier on, you can check out my Tickfinity guide here to learn how to add follow, gift, and more alerts to your TikTok live stream. If you want to learn more about monetizing and growing your live stream, then check out my new live success newsletter, which is linked in the description. Subscribe if you found this useful and thanks for watching.